Prince Harry is one of the most colorful characters in the British royal family. Dubbed as party boy by many tabloids, the husband of Meghan Markle was snapped numerous times hanging his tongue out. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle could push the royal family to breaking point if they do a second tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey, a royal expert has warned. The Sussexes are reportedly planning another interview with an A-list TV star, after revealing in their previous interview one member of the royal family questioned what the color of their son Archie's skin would be before he was born. However, nothing has yet been confirmed. Royal biographer Duncan Larcombe, author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story, told, Harry and Meghan have caused chaos and I suspect there's no stopping them. I can totally see more of these high-profile, Hollywood-style interviews with A-list TV hosts happening. Especially if there's lots of money being offered for it. Harry will need a promotion for his memoir, due to be released next autumn, too. Another Oprah interview, if it's anything like the last, would surely push the royals to breaking point. The BBC's newest royal documentary has garnered some hype after it delved deep into Prince Harry and Prince William's relationship with one another and the media. In 2001, Prince Harry was involved in a phone hacking scandal that shocked the royal firm. In the now defunct tabloid News of the World, confidential pieces of information were leaked, which include a very private conversation between Prince Harry and then girlfriend Chelsea Davy. Chelsea Davy reportedly sent an intimate photo to Prince Harry. During the height of the scandal, Hunt revealed that he exchanged words with Prince Harry where the royal told him that he wanted to do an interview. I remember a conversation with Harry where I said, oh, you should do an interview, you should talk about it, because it clearly really exercises you, Hunt claimed. Unfortunately, the interview never happened as Prince Harry was, allegedly, stopped by palace personnel to further talk with Hunt during their meeting. Hunt also stated that Prince Harry kept asking why he could not do the interview and said he wanted to talk about the hacking. Prince Harry could never file a lawsuit against News of the World even after the news organization published sensitive pieces of information about him. However, the perpetrators behind the phone hacking were still in prison due to different charges. News of the World royal editor Clive Goodman pleaded guilty to intercepting phone messages from Clarence House and went to jail for six months. Co-conspirator Glenn Mulcair was also imprisoned for six months. BBC royal correspondent Nicholas Witchell has reported anger within the royal family over the new BBC documentary which examines the relationship between the royals and the UK press. Mr. Witchell, especially on the part of Prince William, we must remember that he still feels really quite aggrieved at the BBC over the Panorama interview with his mother, the BBC of course roundly condemned in the Dyson report. These feelings are very raw, and they have been exacerbated by these two programs that princes and the press. The palace is indignant, added the royal correspondent. They are angry that quote, overblown and unfounded claims from unnamed sources are presented as facts. Now that appears to revolve around the suggestion in the program that members of royal households briefed against Harry and Meghan in the fallout from the falling out between the Cambridges and the Sussexes. They provided the following joint statement, a free, responsible and open press is of vital importance to a healthy democracy. However, too often overblown and unfounded claims from unnamed sources are presented as facts and it is disappointing when anyone, including the BBC, gives them credibility.